Hello and welcome to PCI Tech TV. This is Kevin from PCI and this is part two of the stereo DEM extraction from radar imagery. If you didn't catch part one, make sure you watch that video because it does explain to you what data is suitable for radar stereo DEM extraction. So make sure you follow the links below to watch that previous video. The uh, process of extracting uh, DMs in our software is quite simple. Here we have our radar set 2 imagery. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the uh, ortho engine toolbar. So I'm going to open up ortho engine here. Alright, so I'm going to start a new project and this is going to be a radar project and I'm going to use the uh, 2 tame model for uh, building a math model. So I'll just set to my directory here and I've got my radar sat data set up here. So I'll call this uh, radar sat 2. So I'll give this uh, project a quick description here and I'm going to go ahead and OK. First thing it's going to ask me is for the projection. If you don't know what the projection is you can very easily uh, collect it from here. So if you go to the files tab go under properties when you've had got the data loaded you can see here that it's UTM uh, zone 10 and the datum that's being used is uh, WGS84 so I'll just select that UTM and it's uh, 10 north alright the pixel spacing I'm going to choose is uh, 25 meters which is roughly the resolution of this uh, data and I'm going to set my GCP units based on the uh, information I've already provided the system. Alright, so I've got my project set up. First thing I'll do is uh, select my data that I want to be using. So the, the, the uh, reading uh, button that you want to use is this one, which is the PCI disk file. Although we don't have a PCI disk file, this is the proper way to load the RadarSat imagery into this project. So we'll load We'll go into our folder. This is the standard 7 image and we'll locate the product.xml file and we'll select no calibration. We can build overviews if we want. I'm not going to. Then we'll select the next file. So I'll go back up, go to my wide 2 folder. I'll select the product.xml, select no calibration. Once again, no overviews. So that's it. Our data is now input. Next step is to collect the tie points to match the two images together. So uh, we can uh, automatically collect tie points using our software. So here we have the automatic tie point collection dialog. I'll just leave everything pretty much uh, with the defaults and go ahead and collect tie points. Okay, that's done. That only took about uh, 20 seconds or so. So that's, uh, that's completed. Uh, the next step is to build the model. So calculate the, uh, the model for the project. So that's done. Uh, next thing is to actually create epipolar pairs so that the software can match the uh, images together and extract the elevation points from the parallax. So we'll create the epipolar pairs. We'll select a left and a right image. It doesn't matter which side you choose. So standard 7 on the left and wide 2 on the right. And uh, we can add those to the, uh, to the table. And we'll leave the defaults for now and go generate pairs. Okay, so the epipolar pairs have successfully been generated. So I'll just click OK here and close that down. So now that we've successfully collected epipolar pairs, we can extract our DM. So I'll select the left and the right image, uh, right left and the right epipolar images. The uh, options are here to uh, modify the, the uh, type of terrain. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything in, in terms of the default. And I'm going to select where I want to put that DM. So I'm going to, I did this earlier, but I'll do a new copy here. 
And here we can select our resolution. So our data is, is roughly 25 meters. I think it's a little bit better. I think it's around 20 meters is the resolution of the imagery. I did use 25 meter as pixel size when I imported it. So I'll just double the size of the pixel for now to generate a, a rough DEM. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and click Extract DEM. All right, so that took a few minutes to run, but I've successfully extracted the uh, DEM. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to save my Ortho Engine project in case I need to come back to it. And I'm going to open up Focus and uh, load the DEM on top of my data here. So here's the, uh, the DEM that I just created. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see the, uh, the DEM. So looks a little bit rough at this point. Uh, there's, uh, there's some artifacts. Uh, if, we, if we look at, uh, some, there's some interpolation errors over the water. Uh, these are things that we can fix using the DM editing tools quite easily. Um, so I'll just uh, quickly load this up using our new uh, Geomatica 2014 live DEM editing tool, which is quite nice. You can see that it creates a color uh, shaded, uh, color-coded uh, relief map here of my DEM, which is quite nice. So I can zoom in on, on the DEM. And uh, there you have it. So essentially, uh, there's a lot of things that we could do here to improve the DM. As I mentioned, we could uh, remove the elevation in the water by doing some DM editing. Uh, if I quickly load this up in our uh, 3D viewer, uh, you can get a sense of the uh, of the quality or the the, the fact that this worked. And uh, so I'm just uh, looking out. This is uh, Tawasan with the, the ports. And uh, now we're looking north towards the uh, North Shore Mountains. And uh, there you have it. So I hope that helps uh, for those of you who are thinking of using this technique for extracting uh, digital elevation models. Uh, pretty straightforward to do, as, as you saw in this demonstration. And if you have any questions, please make sure to get in touch with us. Uh, you can contact us at uh, marketing at PCIGMatics.com. You can chat with us on our website. Uh, or you can leave a comment below in the YouTube video. Thanks very much for watching and uh, have a good day.